Hello there, this is Carlos here. Okay, so this is for anyone with a disabled phone or any phone which you can't unlock for whatever reason and you just want to hard reset it. Okay. So in this case, I've got a disabled phone in which I don't know the password. I've obviously done it on purpose in this on this occasion. So it's disabled, we can't get into it, we can't access the phone. So what we need to do is we need to uh, hard reset the phone and reset the software. Now one thing to take note of is when you're doing this is to make sure that uh, the phone doesn't have iCloud activation because if it does have Find My iPhone activated then that means when you do reset it you won't actually be able to log in because you'll still have the iCloud details on there which you won't know the password to if the phone isn't yours. Okay, so that's for instance if you um, buy it second hand maybe off somebody or you buy it at an auction or something like that where you can't know for certain the previous history of the phone. So what we'll do is we'll actually power off the phone. Okay, we'll wait for that to power off. Um, if you do want to know how to check if there's iCloud on a device, whether it's on or not, you don't actually need to go into the phone. And I've got a video on how to do that. So if you go and watch that, uh, you can learn how to do that process. Okay, so now the phone's off. What we're going to do is we're going to hold the home button so just press it in and then insert the USB data cable and you'll be presented with this screen which is a connect to iTunes screen. Now once that's happened we're going to go over now to iTunes which will be flashing at you and then it will ask you if you'd like to reset the software back to factory standards so you're going to go ahead and click restore and it will ask you if you want to restore an update. Essentially, it's a, it's a process in which it's going to delete everything from the phone. But what the good thing is about that is then you'll a, you'll be able to access the phone even if you didn't know the password previously. Okay. So now we'll just wait for the software to go through its process. So iTunes has finished extracting the software and now it's going to begin to install the software on the phone and you're going to be presented with this screen. It basically resets itself and then this screen will appear in which it's installing the software essentially. So we'll wait for that to finish. Okay, so the phone's now finished restoring. Go ahead, click OK. Now it's still going to be a bit longer until uh, the phone's finished its process. Uh, it will reset itself and the bar will pop up just slightly. It pops up a little bit again. I'm not sure why it does this, but. Um, you also need to go ahead and install uh, whatever SIM card that you're locked to, whatever carrier you use. Because then you're going to go ahead and reactivate the phone. You do need an internet connection also, Wi-Fi, or you can use cellular. You can go ahead and unplug now, no problem. Let's finish the process. I put a Vodafone SIM in this one, as that's the one it's on. Okay, so the phone's now restored. This is how it comes out of the box when it's new. So you can go ahead, select your country, and just follow the uh, follow the prompts. Go ahead with the setup. This is where iCloud would come up 
if you had it enabled on the phone you wouldn't be able to go any further and if you do need to check that then just go to my video on how to check if there's iCloud on the phone you just follow follow your way through and now you're in the phone no passwords there you go thank you very much for watching